Hello everyone and welcome to Tutor Terrific. Today we are going to derive the law of sines. The law of sines is often written as a triple fraction equation. A over sine A, B over sine B, and C over sine C. Now these parts represent the angles and sides of an oblique triangle. Now, an oblique triangle is any triangle that does not have a right angle. Of course, we could use normal sine, cosine, and tangent functions to find all the angles and sides of a right triangle. But the law of sines is one equation we use to find those things for an oblique triangle. The sides of our usual oblique triangles are labeled with lowercase letters and the capital letters are used for the opposite angle. So for example, side A is over here, and angle A is opposite of side A. Now, in order to derive the law of sines, we are going to need some model triangles. We can either use an obtuse oblique triangle or an acute oblique triangle. Either work to derive this law. And uh, the easier one to understand and comprehend is the acute triangle. But just know that the law of sines works for obtuse and acute oblique triangles all the same. So here we have our model triangle. See how I've notated the sides and their opposite angles with the same letter. And notice how I've also constructed an altitude from side C up to angle C. This altitude will be labeled H like so. And now we are going to look at these triangles that I've cut out of the altitude. I've got two right triangles now. The triangle made by this uh, section of side C, side B, and the altitude, and this section of side C, side A, and the altitude H. And so we are going to write out some trig functions for those two triangles. First of all, we're going to write out the sine of angle A. Let's look at what that is in the context of this right triangle on the left. Angle A, the sine of angle A, would be the opposite side, which is H over hypotenuse of that triangle B. H over B, like so. And also, I'm going to write out what the sine of angle B is. The sine of angle B, if we look at the right triangle on the right, would be the opposite side, again, the altitude H over the hypotenuse A. So here are these two functions. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve each of these expressions for H. So that involves multiplying both sides by the denominator of that fraction on the right. So what we have now uh, is h equals b times sine a and h equals a times sine b. Now, by the transitive property, if h equals two separate things, those two separate things are equal to each other. So now, therefore, we have a sine b equals b sine a. Now that's great because what you can do is divide both sides of this equation by the sines of b and a. So when we divide both sides by both sines, we will basically move them through cross multiplication. to the opposite side denominator. And so now we have the following result. A over sine A equals B over sine B. Now some would say you've derived the law of sines. Well, we've derived part of the law of sines. How do we get C over sine of angle C? That apparently is equal to these two and is written here. Well, I'm gonna show you that next. As you can see, I've made an interesting tweak to my original triangle. All of the sides and angles are still labeled the same, but I've drawn a different altitude. I've drawn the altitude this time from side B to angle B, but I've still called it H. Now remember, we've already proved that A over sine angle A equals B over sine angle B. 
Now we're going to show you how the C's get involved. Okay, we're going to make two new sine expressions from angle A and from angle C. So this time, what we see if we do the sine of angle A is that it equals opposite side, which is H for this particular triangle. Again, I'm cut two right triangles out of an oblique triangle with the altitude. H opposite over C hypotenuse. That's different when it equaled the first time, but they have to be equivalent. And then I'm going to do an expression for sine of angle C. If you look at the triangle through angle C, you could see that the opposite side is, again, the altitude H over the hypotenuse A. Just as before, in the previous section of this video, we will solve both of these equations for H, which involves multiplying by the denominator of both of those fractions on the right. You see that H equals C sine A, and H also equals A sine C. By the transitive property, these two things are equal to each other. So I have C sine A equals A sine C. And again, I will divide both sides by both sines of the angles, and I will end up with A over sine A equals C over sine C. Now, how does the B sine B, A sine A, and C sine C all equal each other? Well, by the transitive property. Notice here how A over sine A has to equal B over sine B and C over sine C. Another way to interpret the transitive property is that all three of these things are equal to each other. So you can write them in a list. A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. They are all equal to each other. We have just proved and derived the law of sines. Well, thank you so much for watching. For now, this is Falconator, signing out.